Right, that's us fishing. Good morning. <clears throat> uh, and welcome back to another page in the diary. Um, and welcome to a kind of wild day in the highlands of Scotland. Um, and we're fishing for pike today. Um, I've come to a new spot. Uh, I've never fished here before. Um, I did a bit of research um, a week or so ago um, on the internet and had a look at the uh, National Library of Scotland bathymetric map for this piece of water and it looked as though it could be quite deep on the uh, on the map. In fact, in fact, it's very deep. Um, sort of 20 yards, the deepest piece of water I've found so far is 42 feet deep. Um, which may or may not be a good thing. Um, in the conditions, as I say, it's pretty wild. There's a fair old wave on the water. Um, it's difficult to know what would be the optimum depth to fish, but uh, I have a sneaking suspicion 42 feet might be just too deep. So I've got rods at varying distances. Um, one at about 18, one at about 22-ish. And I've put a, a bait in 40 feet of water just out of interest <laughs> just to see just to see if anything comes along might be a damn great eel of course right um, I'll be back if anything exciting happens <laughs> two hours in and um, nothing to report um, and the wind if anything has got stronger and so um, yeah bike detection I mean, certainly the alarms have um, I'm not relying on the alarms any longer. I'm just watching the drop off. Um, there's been one, one sort of excitement. Just watch this. So, what do you make of that then? I suppose if you're looking for a positive, the fact that the otter's here might mean there's some fish here as well. Ever the optimist. Well, the truth of the matter now is I'm struggling. The, uh, the wind is at least gale force and probably stronger. I've got a three foot swell on the, uh, on the lock and I'm struggling to keep a line on the water because the lines are picking up all manner of debris and uh, dragging the lines out of the cliffs. So I'm afraid discretion is the better part of valor now uh, and I'm going to call it a day and go and do a recce on a smaller, hopefully more sheltered water that, uh, that I'll be able to fish tomorrow. Um, I'll see you then. again uh, another day and another water a different water um, it's still blowing like a you know on the on the big locks um, at best it would be very uncomfortable trying to fish there and at worst it would be a complete waste of time I suspect so I've come to a much smaller lock a uh, more sheltered lock I hope um, to see if I can um, I can get a decent day's fishing um, 
I have fished this water once before, almost exactly a year ago. Um, I'd never fished it prior to that, but in a conversation with one of the keepers on one of the local uh, estates, he recommended I give it a try. Um, I got two very small fish when I was here a year ago. Um, and mine conditions weren't perfect because this water is really very shallow and um, the sun was cracking the pavements when I was here before. Uh, not not perfect combination at all. Um, much better conditions today though. Um, I suspect I'll get wet at some stage during the day. Um, so uh, let's just see what we can get. Um, as I say to you over and over again, if the, anything exciting happens, I'll be back. Made a right mess of that. Never mind. Plenty of time yet. This might be a bit special. <laughs> How 
I'm sorry, you probably missed missed most of that, but it is a bit special. Be back in a minute. It's a treat. So like I said, a bit special. 16 pounds. That's a good start to the trip. <laughs> Let's get it back. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, I'm sorry if uh, if you missed some of that. Um, it's a classic case of the fish had swum through um, one of the other lines, and so I was having to try and net it <coughs> along with a load of line off the off the other rod. So my apologies uh, if you missed some of the excitement, but. A lovely fish, as you by now no doubt see. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> right, that's it. Time to go. Um, so just the one fish, for which I'm <laughs> very grateful. Lovely fish. Um, somewhere different tomorrow I think um, I've just checked the weather forecast and it's another day of strong winds from a, an unhelpful direction so I think the big locks may well be a bit uncomfortable again tomorrow however I do have one place in um, one spot in mind where I should be able to um, get tucked away and get a bit of shelter I, uh, I haven't ever fished it before so I don't know uh, how successful we'll be, um, but I'll see you when we get there. Good morning again, session number three. Um, sadly this is going to be the last session, we go, uh, we go home tomorrow. And it will also be a fairly short session because we've got a bit of running around to do to get ready for the for the journey home. And I've never fished this spot before, although I have fished elsewhere on this uh, on this water. But uh, whilst it's a little tight, um, it's perfect for what I need today in the conditions we've got. Still very strong winds. Um, it's a it's a two rod swim. Um, but I've had a search around with the marker float and I've got quite deep water quite close in so casting long distances isn't necessary I don't think and from previous experience on this water it's quite often that pike the fish come out quite to, uh, quite close into the to the, buck, the edges so we uh, all we can do is um, see if there's any fish around I'll be back if and when the alarms go off. <laughs> well, into the last hour of the uh, of the session now, um, and it be <laughs> it begins to look like it uh, it may not happen. Um, not that I'm complaining, you understand. Uh, we've had a we've had a fantastic week, really, really enjoyed it. Um, three days fishing, three days walking, all in the glorious Highland scenery. 
um, what's not to enjoy. Uh, and even the wildlife made a contribution this trip, uh, some of which you've already seen. But, uh, but we were fairly successful playing around with a new trail camera that, uh, that we got um, at the lodge where we were staying. So that was a bit of fun as well. So, and the really good news, we're back in mid-November to do it all over again. Hopefully you'll be able to join us. So, 55 minutes for the magic to happen. Let's just see if it does. Well, that's it, didn't happen. Um, tough day really, to be quite honest. Having to recast quite a lot because of the weed that was coming down the lock. Anyway, that's it for another trip to the Highlands. Um, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing next, but there will be another one along soon. So hopefully you can join me then. As I say, thanks for watching. Bye for now.